like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. Cooking with Miss Teresa. 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 Well, hello, my wonderful students. Are you here to cook with me today? Well, if you are, make sure you stick around for today's cooking lesson because today is another Costco special. Yes, today I will be making an easy, easy potato and sausage dish for you. And everything that I purchase is from Costco. So if you want to learn how to make a quick dinner, okay, as easy as one, two, three, make sure you stick around. All right, my wonderful students. So for today's Costco special, it's gonna be so simple and easy. I picked up these Ressers oven roasted potatoes. Okay, so this is my first time trying this. And when I see something in Costco that um, looks easy to cook and to put together um, for dinner for my family, I usually pick it up and I say, okay, I wanna try these. Now, I'm not gonna just eat, um, cook just the oven roasted potatoes. You're gonna have to add some, uh, that is Amy Lou chicken sausage, okay? And this is gluten-free, pork-free, and um, no antibiotics. This sausage is so good, by the way, and you can also find this at Costco. So that's why I am calling this a Costco special. Okay. And I'm also going to add in some um, bell peppers and some onions. I'm also going to add in some olive oil. Now I know it says sea salt and black pepper, but um, let's see. I don't know. I really like my food to be tasty and seasoned. So we're going to just have to see how this, gonna, this is going to go. So stick around. All right. So wonderful students, I opened the potatoes and this is what it looks like when you open it. It comes in two separate containers. Now, just by me looking at this, I want to cook everything, okay? So, you can either um, use these same containers, okay? And I'm going to show you how later in the video. Or you can get another uh, pan, all right? But... This is how it comes, okay? And I'm gonna cook, we'll put, add four sausages, chicken sausages to this dish, all right? So I'm doing like two sausages for each container. Should do just fine, all right? And I also decided to add some chicken bouillon, bouillon, bouillon flavor I'm sorry, that word is such a funny word to pronounce. Um, the chicken bouillon flavor seasoning to this mixture. And I am going to use some olive oil, which I am running out of. I need to go to the store and get some. All right, so let's look at the back for instructions. Okay. All right. It says you can microwave. Number one rule for me, for Miss Teresa, if I'm going to cook a dish like this, I do not want to microwave it. Now, some people might like to microwave um, foods like this, but I'm going to skip out on that, okay? I'm going to put this in the oven. I just think um, things that are cooked in the oven, it just comes out so much better. So it says preheat oven to 425 degrees, which I already have done. Remove tray from um, packaging and completely remove the film. 
okay? So I'm going to remove that film um, right there. And it also says, uh, place uncovered metal tray on the middle rack of the oven, heat for 15 minutes, okay? And then we have to stir product and place tray back in the oven uh, for seven minutes until hot. Conventional ovens may vary. Now remember, whenever Miss Teresa talks about ovens, you know I always say in my videos, my oven cooks different. My oven uh, is probably different from yours. See, that proves it right there. Convic convic conventional ovens may vary, okay? Adjust heating times as needed, all right? So it says, caution, products and tray will be hot. Do not prepare in toaster oven. Do not put in a toaster oven or do not broil. All right. Now, stick around and I'll show you how Miss Teresa is going to do this. Okay, so now we're going to start with cutting the chicken sausage. So I'm just going to get one chicken sausage and you're just going to cut it. You can cut it diagonal. You can cut it straight, however you want to cut it, but I'm going to do a diagonal cut, okay? Or you can just cut it straight. It really doesn't matter. But this is the size that you want, okay? Let me show you. All right, and I'm going to cut these, these sausages straight. Doesn't matter, I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting. Now, let me show you the speed that you should cut. Miss Teresa is doing it pretty fast, but when you're cutting something, you take your time, okay? You don't have to rush. You're in your kitchen in the comfort of your home, okay? And you just go slow. So that's the speed that you should be cutting. And I think, um, yeah, just use a, a knife like this because you're going to need um, a knife, a sharp knife for your onion and your bell pepper. Okay. So students, you make sure if you cannot do this by yourself. I have some students who know how to cut very well. Like they almost cut better than me. I think some of them do. But if you need your parents, parents, caregivers, please help your students. So I have this bell pepper, and all I'm going to do is just slice it. Long slices. Maybe we'll go this way. Long slices, okay? Nothing too special. All right? Long slices, that's all I'm doing. With this bell pepper, I'm just going to slice it into strips okay you're doing strips all right this is how your bell pepper should look and i'm just using this bell pepper that uh, was left over because i don't want it to go to waste it's all it was almost it was almost getting bad so i'm gonna use the rest of this bell pepper i think this will go great in this dish okay and then we have the onion now if you don't want to add any vegetables to your meal, you go right on ahead and you can just do the chicken sausage and the potatoes and that will be your preference. I'm gonna add some onions to mine and I have no particular way in doing it. So I'm just cutting it, I'm slicing it and then I'm, I'm cutting it again sideways, okay? And matter of fact, I'm just gonna leave it the onions like this because sometimes I like them whole or uh, partially whole, whole. Okay, now we have all our vegetables and our sausage sausages cut. I decided to get a big bowl and let me show you the next step. So I decided to get a big bowl. Because I think it's easier 
even though this is a just put it in the oven dish sometimes you have to make your dish taste a little bit more than what the directions is saying so that's why i'm going to put this in a big bowl because i'm going to mix everything together okay i want to make sure that my mixture is going to taste wonderful so i'm adding so i added the potatoes okay i added two two pans okay so i added the potatoes i'm going to add the vegetables the onions the red bell pepper the green bell pepper okay and now let's mix some of that okay i'm gonna mix it look at there you see how i'm mixing it up just mixing it on up and now i'm going to add the sausage that chicken sausage that was so easy to cut up easy as one two three okay and then i'm gonna mix it some more we want all those flavors and all the meat and potatoes to mix up together that chicken sausage has flavor on it so it's all getting the chicken sausage flavor on those potatoes and the vegetables now this smells really good. I hope and I'm excited about this meal. And it looks like it already has, let me feel, not really, I think that's just the moisture. So now what I'm gonna do is add a teaspoon of the chicken flavor seasoning. Okay, just a teaspoon. I know that looks like a lot, but it's not. Please trust me. I know this is going to taste amazing. And then I'm going to add one cap full. Let's start off with one cap full of olive oil. Maybe two. Let's do two. So I'm doing two capfuls of olive oil because I want to make sure my dish is nice and moist okay so now i'm gonna mix it again see that i'm mixing all the seasonings together and i'm not gonna add any pepper because i can already see the pepper on the potatoes all right so i'm not gonna add any pepper but i do want to make sure it is well mixed with the seasonings the sausage and the vegetables all right so i think that's good and now i said that you can add it back to the container but remember the directions once you to put the container in a pan anyway so i'm not going to do that since we already have to put it in a pan i'm just going to put it in the pan i'm not going to um i'm sorry if you couldn't hear me i'm just going to put it in the pan and i'm not going to uh put it back in the containers so i'm going to spray my spray this a little bit because i don't like my food to stick all right this this parents and students is a must have. I don't like my food to stick to the pans. Okay? So, I'm going to pour everything in here. Everything we just mixed up. Oh my goodness. Look at there. That looks amazing. Oh, look at that. Okay? So, you can even mix it up a little bit more. Okay. Now, look at there. This is going to taste lovely. I can already tell. I can already tell. 
All right, so I'm gonna look, read the back again. If you forget, save your box, don't throw it away. So I have to put it in the oven, uncovered for 15 minutes, all right? So let's do that. Now I know the direction says to put this in the oven for 15 minutes um, on 425, 425 degrees, but my oven is different. So I'm gonna put it in my oven on 400 degrees for 15 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna come back and check um, what these, this potato and sausage um, dish looks like, this Costco special looks like in 15 minutes, okay? So this is what the dish looks like after 15 minutes, okay? Looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna stir it a little bit to make sure, look at those juices, ooh, to make sure that everything is cooked evenly. And then that was the instructions. It said to take it out after 15 minutes and to stir it up, okay? And I'm going to put it back in the oven for seven more minutes, okay? Um, yeah, I'm gonna try seven. If I do more than seven, I surely will let you know. All right, seven more minutes. Back in the oven, it goes. So this is what the dish looks like after 10 more minutes in the oven, okay? I did mine for 10 more minutes. And look at the sausage. Everything is fully cooked, fully cooked. Look at those juices. You see how nothing is sticking to the pan. You see the potatoes are done. You see that? So you wanna go for 10 more minutes and come take a bite with me. Okay guys, I'm back and the potatoes and sausages are done. This Costco special, I can already tell by the smell of it, it's gonna taste absolutely delicious, okay? So we have the um, <clears throat> of it roasted potatoes and remember we added chicken sausage, bell peppers, onions, some seasoning and some olive oil. And it literally took like, what, a five minute prep time, and a total of 25 minutes in the oven, okay? So we did the first 15 minutes, okay? We put it in the oven for uh, 15 minutes, then we took it out and we stirred it, and then we put it back in the oven for 10 more minutes, well, I did. So 10 plus, I mean, 15 plus 10, it's 25, 25 minutes, okay? So now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get right into it. All right, so I have the, let me show you how this looks. That is so simple and it, this is gonna be so good, I already know. I've never had it before. I've had the chicken sausage, but not the potatoes. Okay, let me stop talking. So I'm gonna get that sausage that bell pepper. Why is it always hard to get my vegetables? Oh, look at that. Woo-hoo. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. -hmm. Listen, this is so good. I'm telling you, you guys have to trust me. Trust me when I tell you when I cook these meals for you, when I'm in the store and I'm like, what can I cook for my students? That's going to be so easy. What can I cook for the parents to make it so easy to cook with their students? This is it. Mm-hmm. I even looked at other videos to see if anyone has cooked this particular um, potato dish. 
And there were a couple of people who did it all wrong. All wrong. They did it no justice. But Miss Teresa did. Yes, I did. I wanted justice for my students. So you guys can come home and make an easy meal with your parents. This is so easy to make and it's so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. So, this is another Costco special that has all the good flavors. That is fun and easy. And it tastes really, really good. Okay, this is a Costco success. All right, and that's why I love going to Costco because when I come home from work and I am tired, I do not feel like, you know, cooking for hours or even sometimes for two hours. I just want to put something together, throw it in the oven and be done. And this is definitely a meal where Costco made it convenient for you to do such a thing. Okay, so make sure you head over there to Costco. If you don't have um, a Costco card, I know they let you go in and do like a um, like a trial, a day trial. Just go in there and try it. And then I promise you, you will want to get a Costco membership after um, visiting Costco. Now, remember, if you don't want to put in extra seasonings in this dish, you go right on ahead and just do the vegetables and the sausage. But if you want to kick up the dish a little bit, then you get your little extra seasoning. You can get a little bit of seasoning salt or whatever you have to um, make this um, a little bit extra uh, flavorful. But I am pretty sure without the seasoning, it still is flavorful because the chicken sausage is like everything. But I'm telling you, this, what I gave you, the measurements and the um, everything to put in here is absolutely perfect. Mm. It's perfect. Mm, 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 mm. So, I'm going to eat this all up. I'm going to eat it all up. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you to all my subscribers. I see that I have new subscribers. Subscribers, thank you so much. I'm going to have to do some shout outs. I was told, Miss Teresa, you need to do shout outs. And I do because I have some little loyal subscribers and I'm so grateful for you. So I'm going to do some shout outs on the next video. Okay, coming up and make sure you share my videos. Okay, this, this is so easy, so good, and it's so fun. It is for everyone. Okay, so. You guys have a nice evening, my wonderful students. This will be a nice dinner. Parents, I'm telling you, I, I can't make it any easier for you. Well, yes, I can and I am, but make sure you share my videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, and don't forget... Don't forget your water. Don't forget the water. Okay, bye.